protests in Cuba have historically targeted the U.S. Embassy. Not this time. Since last week, hundreds of Cubans have protested outside the Panamanian Embassy. None of them want to step foot in Panama. Tiene que hacer una escala en Panamá porque en 12 horas no hacía falta visado. Estamos protestando porque no nos están dando la oportunidad de adquirirla. Como ahora, después que yo pagué un pasaje, me van a decir que no puedo entrar a Panamá. On Tuesday, the Panamanian government began imposing a transit visa for Cubans traveling to other countries on Panama-based Copa Airlines. The embassy issued no warning and provided no way for Cubans to get a visa. Nos están estafando a la cara nuestro dinero y siendo así hace falta que sea el cónsul el que salga a darle la cara a los cubanos. Many here are heading to Nicaragua, the first stop on a precarious journey to the United States. Some seek to leave behind Cuba's economy, devastated in recent years by U.S. sanctions. Others are trying to reunite with their families. Yo llevo muchos años esperando este momento y ahora me lo han jodido. Lo mío no es pasaje solo, yo tengo una entrevista para unirme con mi hijo y con mi familia, por favor. Trump closed U.S. consular services in Havana in 2017. Since then, Cubans have had to travel to third countries to seek a U.S. visa. On March 3rd, the Biden administration announced that some visa services would resume in Havana. Nothing has happened yet. Cinco años en la espera y con todo supuestamente listo y mira ahora con lo que me topo voy a perder un pasaje, voy a perder una cita. Panama wasn't the first Latin American country to require a transit visa for Cubans. In recent weeks, Costa Rica and Colombia imposed the same measure. All three countries are close allies of the United States. It is really a pleasure to be with. Uh, my friends and colleagues from Panama, Costa Rica, from all of our countries and your countries working together uh, to advance uh, the things that we believe in. Panama's foreign minister previously spoke with U.S. officials about containing irregular migration. Esto debe ser un compinche entre la orilla, embajada, gobierno. Si ellos tienen problemas con la migración a Estados Unidos, que no vendan boletos, ¿por qué tanto problema por una cosa así? Lo que quieren es joder.